Hello, my name is Michael de Miranda. Uh, I, have, I had a request if I could show how you can play samba reggae on cajon. And I, I can understand it because uh, samba reggae is, uh, is quite popular, this rhythm. And cajon is also a very popular instrument. So, uh, But playing samba reggae on a cajon is not traditional. So you have to make, uh, you have to be creative and make your own style, your own way of playing samba reggae on a cajon. Uh, there are, of course, a lot of different uh, samba reggae's, and when I translate samba reggae to a cajon, there are two instruments from the samba reggae that are important for me. Of course, the surdos, uh, who make the uh, the low melodies, and the caixas and the repiniques. Uh, <coughs> if you think about uh, one of the most common uh, played samba reggae's and the pseudo uh, pattern is like this the if you have this melody you can translate this to uh, the cajon by playing starting on the first beat with a high tone with your right hand then your left hand a high tone and first two bass notes with your right hand Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. After these two bass notes, again the two uh, high notes, right, left. One, two, three, four. And then after this note, four bass notes. One, two, three, four. If I repeat this, it sounds like this. Like this. Of course, um, then you have the, the this this small melody of the to go do go tak ka tung tung tak ka to go do go and it already sounds like uh, a samba reggae. Um, of course, you can fill the spaces with fingertips so uh, you get me a more swing. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And then you have a nice basic samba reggae. Uh, but if I play another samba reggae and I start from a famous kaisha pattern that is used in uh, samba reggae. I will play the kaisha, it's like this. One, two, three, four. So you have to tak, chikat, tak, tak, chikat, tak, chikat, tak, tak, Cut, tuck. This is used a lot in samba reggae. If I take this as the basic, you can put uh, the four bass notes in the end and you get more the samba reggae. So you can play it like this. One, two, three, four. This is also another way of playing samba reggae. Uh, but you see, I constantly use kasha patterns and pseudo patterns. That gives me the most uh, uh, feeling, uh, the best feeling for samba reggae. Um, let's go to uh, another samba reggae. Uh, reggae is also, of course, afterbeat. So you have kaisa, kaisha patterns that only play the afterbeat like this. One, two, three, four, one. Like this. And again, if you put the last four bass tones uh, in it, then you have the pseudos a little bit, of course. So you have this. One, two, three, four, 
This is also an easy way to play another uh, samba reggae. And a samba reggae that's, uh, that I like a lot is the way that the bloku Ilea Ye is playing. Ilea Ye has a typical groove. Um, Ilea Ye has, for instance, this kind of patterns for the kaishas. One, two, three, four, two. Like this. This is of course very nice. If I put some more pseudo uh, effect in it, then you can start like this. You start with a bass note, and directly after this bass note, two very fast uh, notes, high notes are coming. And then two loud notes to the, the reggae effect is coming, like this. One, two, three, four. So the, the last two notes are louder. Then you put a bass note again. Then one high note. One, two, three, four. Again, a bass note for, for the pseudos. One, two, three, four. After this bass note, Two slaps are coming. One, two, three, four. And after these two uh, loud notes, four bass notes are five actually. Five bass notes are coming, and you get back to the one. So if I play it one time complete, it sounds like this: one, two, three, four. And after this five note, this, this last note is the same as where I started with. Yeah, so if I repeat it, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And so on. This is a little bit Ilea, Ilea Ye kind of samba reggae. But anyway, this is the way I make up my own kind of samba reggae. So I look at the tra traditions from Bahia and I take uh, some parts of it, and mostly the parts from the pseudos and the kaishas. But of course, you are free to make uh, your own kind of uh, samba reggae. I hope uh, you can use some of these rhythms and I uh, wish you good luck with uh, those nice rhythms. Bye bye. <laughs>